Okay, Audrey, we've been talking about Chris Uphughes, and here's the poster that's in our room, and I've already showed you videos. And you have been doing some sketches already with your hearts, and you worked with Cassie Stevens' uh, sheet that she had, and you used her erase board, and you did some amazing hearts that I've seen, and I'm trying to find my sketch of my other picture. Aha, here it is. And we did some on some scrap paper, and we made, you know, this is my example here. Okay. So this is one that I painted, and I like the rainbow colors, and I love seeing how the colors blend together. And this is with marker and then just water. And I wanna show you, I experimented with this. Now look what happened here, boys and girls. I decided I don't like the background. I didn't like the colored cheeks on there because they all blend together and they kind of made a brown. So I'm gonna go back to this. Now we've already practiced, so what I want you to do, artists, I know this might be a little difficult, but I think you can do it. You're gonna take your paper and you're gonna take a Sharpe. I know you're going, Mrs. Milligan, what are we doing? I want you to use your Sharpe and not a pencil if possible. Now I do have stencils. I'm gonna just show you how to draw the heart. You can trace one of my giant uh, heart stencils that I have if you want to. I encourage you, however, artists, just to draw a heart on your own. Then I have, I'm gonna put my name on the bottom left. And if I refer back to my sketch, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at this one. I have two eyes, you know, figure out where your eyes would be. You can decide what you want your eyes to look like. Okay, maybe this one's sleeping. The other one wasn't sleeping. Maybe you want it to be completely open. Maybe you have another little circle on here, whatever you wanna do. And Chris Uphughes is all about being positive and happy and making people smile with his artwork. And that's why we're doing these today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my tongue in. There we go. So I'm not gonna make it into a person. Now what you're gonna do, artist, is you're gonna get your markers and you're gonna color the outside. You can decide how you want your uh, color, how you want your heart to be colored. I want, like I said, do a thick line. If you wanna do a rainbow, that's fine, but you gotta be careful when your colors mix. Like I said, I would not put any colors in here. I would limit it, maybe just color the tongue. And I'm just gonna take my markers and go on around and fill it up. Artist, I used uh, pretty simple colors that when they would mix together, remember we talked about we don't want them to turn brown, okay? And this is just water. And you're gonna take Miss Paula, and I wanna do some reminders of Miss Paula. Remember we only we put our fingers on the grippy and we dippy the tippy. Everybody say dippy the tippy. Because we only want the tip of the paintbrush, not the whole thing. You don't wanna put your hands in the ferrule, okay? That's the metal part. And you wanna hold your hand up and down. Meaning, you don't want to take your paintbrush and shove it across the paper like this. Instead, you want to hold it up and pull it towards you. Everybody say, hold it up and pull it towards you. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So this is just water. I'm gonna take my water and it might take a little bit of time. I'm gonna put my paintbrush on that marker and I'm bringing it towards the center, meaning I'm pulling it towards the center of my heart, okay? Now I'm gonna leave the white part of my eyes white. Go back and get some more water. Now I'm gonna pull the purple. Oh, look, see how it's starting to move? And I like this, what we're doing, because we're gonna start talking about color soon, and I like you to think about blending your colors and creating paint with just markers. So if you have markers at home, boys and girls, guess what? Get a paintbrush and some water, and you can create some paint, okay? So, moving this on around. Now, when I get to the, I'm gonna clean my brush because I want it to be clean for the pink. So make sure you clean your brush. Practice pulling Miss Paula towards you. And then I'm just gonna work my way on around. 
Now, did I paint in here? I could. I could just, you know, just do a little bit, get a very little bit of water. Clean my brush again. Come on around here to the pink. Get that moving around. There. And now I can go just do the same thing. Come on around to the purple. Activate that marker. There we go. And so this is our Chris Uphughes doing just marker and magic water. And I want you to paint the whole thing. This makes me think of those candies that they sell at Valentine's Day. So if you want to take um, and put a background in here, you can, but I don't want you to paint it. So we might use other markers. Oh, look at this, I'm kind of pulling it, making it curve there. Uh, or you could draw something with the Sharpe. Oh, look at that. Do you see where there's no paint there? So I'm gonna bring my water around. There we go. And there's your project.